afternoon. You can use a pencil or a pen to draw this. I am using tinted recycled paper, but you can use whatever paper you have, whether it's computer paper, lined paper, or construction paper. I will be working in pen so that you can see my lines better. If at any time you need to erase or pause the video to slow down or just enjoy the coloring part, please do. Let's get started. We are going to start by drawing an oval, much like an egg, for the thorax. The thorax is the middle part of the body. A long V down the center, and two smaller circles up top that will make up the eyes and the head. And of course we have to have antennas. You can make them as long and curly or as short as you would like. And then we are going to make a worm body. Do you know what a worm looks like? It's easy. And just like a worm, we can draw line across, lines across its body. This is called the abdomen. You guys are doing great already. Do you know what a raindrop looks like? Almost like a circle with a pointed top. This is the shape that we will be creating for the bottom two wings, also known as the hind wings. Starting at the bottom of the thorax, your oval, we are going to draw one big raindrop. And then one more big raindrop if you need assistance with your, your raindrop wings, ask a parent. Then we are going to make one more small raindrop on the inside of our wing. And again on the other side. Now we are going to draw four lines. One, two, three, four. And on the other side. One, two, three, four. These four lines want to be connected, so we're going to connect them. It almost looks like an upside down right. carrot. And then on either side, you can draw an oval or a circle, or you don't have to put anything there at all. Now that the bottom two wings are done, the hind wings, we can make the top wings. They kind of look like pizza slices. I'm going to start at the top of my thorax, my oval, and make a slightly curved line out. 
I'm going to continue that line to the middle of the bottom wing. And I'm going to do the same to the other side. Feel free to pause the video if you need to or ask for help. We are going to make a long kind of like a large piece of rice. And then we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Now that we have two ovals, we are going to make four lines, just like we did with the hind wings. One, two, three, four. And then on the other side, one, two, three, four. And just like we did with the hind wings, we are going to connect these lines at the bottom. make a few more ovals or you can do circles or just completely leave this part out if you want at the top of the wings. And then two long ovals on the head for the eyes. And here you just drew a monarch butterfly. You can add as many circles or as many shapes or ovals that you want if you want to get more creative. But if you would like to color this with me, keep watching. You will need an orange, yellow, and black colored pencil or marker. I'm going to start with a beautiful orange inner part of the wings. I'm even going to add in some yellow. I'm going to start with the orange on the inner part of the design and in the middle I'm going to add some yellow. If you want to do some basic blending, you can add back an orange lightly over top and then yellow again. I'm going to color in the rest of these shapes, orange and yellow. Parents, pause the video for as long as you would like to allow your child to enjoy coloring these parts with no time restraints or pressure. Now I'm working on tinted paper. 
that means if I use a white colored pencil to color this in, it will show up. But if you're working on plain white paper or notebook paper, you can leave these shapes blank or color them in yellow. Or if you want to veer from the sunny color of a monarch butterfly, you can color the shapes in any color you want. Once we have all of that colored in, it is time for black. Great job coloring. Now we are going to do the same to the other wing. Parents, now would be a good time to pause the video to let them catch up. Once all of that is done, we can color in the thorax black as well. We are going to leave that long V empty just for now. Go ahead and color in the head black. Color the rest of the thorax and the eyes yellow. If you're working on tinted paper and would like to color them white, that's a great idea as well. For our worm body, our app, I'm coloring just along the inside orange. I will also color the lines across the orange. And then I will be filling in the rest yellow. Now we get to do the same thing to the bottom wings. If you're working in colored pencil, sharpen it when you need to. I'm coloring them in orange and yellow, just like we did the top wings.
Remember when I said that if you wanted to add more circles or ovals or shapes that you could, I'm going to add in a few at the bottom of the hind wings. You do not have to do that. I'm just doing it for fun. What is the actual wingspan of an adult monarch butterfly? It is three and a half inches. A little smaller than my drawing here, but monarchs can fit comfortably in the entire palm of your hand. If your child finished this and you would like me to feature their artwork on my next video, just send it to me via email. I'll be doing two more videos one for upper elementary and middle school students, and then a more advanced one for adults or those who just want more of a challenge.